So Dhyana Linga is definitely that kind of possibility. As you know, uh, the Wellingiri Peak is known as Kailash of the South because it has similar qualities but not of the same magnitude. Does magnitude matter? Matters as an impression, doesn't matter for knowing actually. Because suppose you go to your school or let's say your college library, which has uh, maybe half a million books, you go to another public library which has ten million books. Whether you go to half a million or to ten million, you are only probably going to read ten, fifty or maximum hundred books. You are not going to read half a million books or ten million books. So, it is only the quality of selection. And if you go to a library, with ten million books, unless there is a very good librarian there, you can't find anything that you want for nuts. Yes, you cannot, unless it's well catalogued. It is uh, not catalogued like that, you know, it's like the matted hair. That's how it is described and that's how it is. It is like the matted hair of Adiyogi, if he does this, whole cataloging gets disturbed. So you will have to find it. Not that you cannot, but it takes a certain amount of... It takes a certain amount of education to go through the library successfully. Yes, otherwise you'll go stare at all the books. There are all kinds of stuff which are irrelevant to you. So, in that sense, Dhyanalinga is an effective library. We don't have as many books as they have, but we have what is needed, easy to pick, because it's more organized, catalogued. It's just that uh, you have to spend enough time to see. When I say to see, I mean to say, First seeing, then figuring out what is the alphabet, then the word, then the sentence, then trying to understand what is… what does it say? This is the nature of learning anything to be read. So first you must be able to see, then you must be able to identify the alphabet, the word, the sentence and further. Does it take time? Some time, but not necessarily enormous amount of time, it just takes intensity, one moment if you can be absolutely there, not concerned about the collage that you have built and who you are and what you are and your safety, your well-being and nonsense. If you can just keep down your sense of self-preservation, the instinct of self-preservation, you can just lay it out. This is why when you're entering Dhyana Linga, there is a yogi on the floor to indicate this is where you must leave yourself and go. You must leave your body, your mind, your ideas, your opinions, your nonsense, everything right there and go. Simply sit and where is it written? It's not written anywhere. But everything is possible through that. In volume, in magnitude, it is not Kailash. But Kailash is a heap of stuff. Kailash is like a library with hundred million books, but no racks, just in one heap. You will have to burrow through that. It's an enormous process. Even great sages like Rishabh Maharishi went and lost himself. He never came back. Because if you see hundred million or a trillion books in one big heap, the book that you want to find, if you burrow into it, you're not going to come out. That's what happened, not just to him, to many other sages and saints this happened. So Dhyanalinga is definitely 
that kind of possibility, but more succinct to the point, enough for, I would say, any human being, unless Adiyogi himself comes, then he will say, ah, oh, nice toy you have created. <laughs> Anybody else will look up to it as the greatest peak. Anybody else, only he can look down upon it, but it's okay.